Hello, it's been a while. Let's talk about everything that I've made these past few months. The only non-wearable that I've made is basically this pillow. It's called the Wisteria pillow and it's by On Planet Beck. It looks a little flat, but that's because I used scrap yarns to stuff it and I didn't have as many scrap yarns as I thought, so it's still a little flat. I've made a few more things that I think I can probably use to stuff this to make it like fluffier. I made these paw hand warmer type of thingies. They look like this. I actually made a few of them, so I made I think four. I made one for my mom, my little sister, my sister, and then this one is for myself. And they're so dang cute. Like, let me show you what they look like on. They look like this. They're really cute. I used a tutorial on YouTube that I'll link, but I don't know. I just think they're so adorable. I made a bunch of leg warmers. Like, when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. I made so many. <laughs> and the first ones that I actually made were these that I knitted. And the yarns that I used is this hand spun yarn from Fairy Yarns. Um, they're basically these cable rib leg warmers, um, which is actually really easy to do. You don't actually need to use um, a cable needle or anything like that. Um, it's super easy. I have a tutorial on my channel if you're interested. And in order to make them like a bit more interesting, I added on these like little lace-ups. And it was my first time doing um, um, the eye cord and it's actually really quite easy. And it does have like a different type of shape than the crochet one. I like both of them um, equally, but since I wanted to make like a full knitting tutorial, I just knitted the eye cords and it looks like this. So cute. And then next, these are my most recent ones actually. And they're, they are the Forest Fairy Leg Warmers by Four Lane Crochet. They're so cute. My favorite part of this one is actually the curved hem. So when you're wearing um, this leg warmer, there's like this opening at the very front of your shoe. And I just think it looks so cute. There's also a bow. I don't know if you can tell because it's like main line and brown because I ran out of white. It has a, a fold over like top thingy that's like super cute. And then these like pom poms that you can add on. Next up are my last leg warmer design that I um, have. And it's these lace-up flared crochet leg warmers. They look like this. The bows are actually supposed to be on the sides. So when you're wearing it, it's like flared like this, kind of like a flower with the bows on the side. And I added on these um, lace-up ties so that you can lace it up your leg. Cause I like the look of like lace-up things. I think they're really cute. So I made this white one for myself. And then I made this um, dark blue one for my sister. It's basically the same thing, just in dark blue. And then I made her laces like super long. Basically, I just made them really long so she could lace it like up her thigh. And it just ma makes your outfit like look so cute. My last accessory is this bonnet that I made for my mom. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are like little ears on the sides of it. And then it's actually attached by this like skinny scarf with little paws on it. So the first one that I made is this tank and it's called the Subtle Star Top by um, Shalwa. And I actually modified it so the back is like closed rather than it having like that racer back style. Um, and I really love it. I've used this like minty green yarn and then like this off-white color. And the part that I like the most is, y'all know I like checker things. Like there's like this huge um, contrast like checker design on it with the star as well that's like kind of like color block slash like checkered and then the next thing that i made are these stays um most people will call them corsets but these are the garden stays by mila and i actually made a gingham brown version like a year ago but i liked it so much that i made another one but just in full white so i can style it with a lot more things and instead of the straight across like neckline, the squared neckline, I made the sweetheart neckline and it's just so cute. So the first one that I want to show y'all is this one that I made for my mom. It has this like gradient um, coloring that I did purposefully to mimic like the sunrise or like the sunset and the back of it has this bow. <laughs> Actually when I made this I didn't make a gauge swatch because I was dumb 
so I made the neckline like way too wide but I fixed it by adding like a pleat and then just like putting this bow on the back. Next is my most recent design actually. It's the flower web sweater. It looks like this. And it ha features this like gathered front part with like a bow and it features these like side ties that you can use for like some ruching on the sides if you like that. But the most important feature I suppose, or the most interesting feature is this filet crochet and this lace design. The filet crochet features like this sort of like flower type of thing, this four petal flower, and then the lace um, is basically like this web looking thingy, and that's why it's called the flower web sweater. <laughs> I'm so uncreative, but yeah. This is the Rosa part again. It's actually my least popular design, which is kind of sad, but you know, it's okay because the few people who have made Rosa or are making Rosa or plan to make Rosa will enjoy Rosa just as much as I did making and designing her. Um, this one was actually inspired by an outfit that Rosa wore in Tears of Venus. It just has like this contrast piping all throughout the front as well as the cuffs. And then this puff shoulder, which I'm super proud of, and then this lace up front. This is the second knitted sort of like sweater pullover thing that I made. It's the spin sweater by Kara's Knitting. And it's so cute. It has this twist on the front, um, which is why it's called like the spin sweater, I'm guessing. And this was like one of my, maybe my fifth time making a raglan style um, type of sweater. And I like this type of design more than the other raglans that I've tried out. So definitely like check out Kara's um, patterns. Next is this super cute collared cardigan by Aline. It's so adorable. It has like this huge oversized frilly collar with a bow on the front and the sleeves are literally so cute. The thing that I like the most about it is the fact that it's like tiered. This is my remake of the Florence cardigan that I made for myself by Nastja and i'm really into like the mesh sort of like stitches so as you can see there it's like a, a flower kind of design it's like really curly and like not lying flat because i didn't block it yet but i will block it soon so i can wear it without the front having <laughs> without the front like flopping off basically the most recent one that i made and also the most one of my most recent um designs is this one it's the lucia skirt it's inspired by like you know like cargo skirts so it has like this humongous it's not huge really but it has like this pocket on the side and it has a drawstring closure and the waist closes using these buttons i use these like really cute fish buttons that i found and um i have I made it so that there you can add in like an optional like keychain loop as well so you can like hang something off of it if you want but it's honestly just like a really simple form-fitting skirt. The last thing that I have to show you all today is this really beautiful skirt. It has this corset um, top so the back of it is like a corset so it cinches your waist and it has like frills on the top and like a bunch of like these bows that you probably can tell our bows because they're kind of wonky. It's so cute. It's the Hidden Forest Skirt by YL Studio on Instagram. And the, it's actually a double layered skirt. So yeah, I literally made like this really frilly gathered skirt like twice. And it's like a midi slash maxi length on myself. So this, this project took me forever, but it's worth it because it's so beautiful. One of my favorite features is like the fact that it's double layered so like the bottom inner skirt like peeks out kind of like a petticoat and it makes the entire skirt like way more fluffy anyway so it's just super cute but yeah that was everything that i've made since december thank you for watching bye bye